guys, it's Tara and welcome back to my home. Today we are in for a special treat because we have my mom here with us and she is going to walk us through one of my favorite comfort dishes growing up, which is an Iranian pomegranate and walnut stew, better known as fesenjun. I have to say, if I'm being honest, all foods are comfort foods, but sometimes with the pressures of life and work, all we need is a bowl of something warm and familiar or a slice of something sweet just to make us feel like the world is a safer place. And that's what this dish is for me. Mixed in with my mom being here, I mean, it really can't get any better. So let's dive right into it. Let me introduce you to my mom and let us show you how to make this incredible dish called Fesenjun. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm so excited. This is my mom. I'm Hello. so excited to introduce you to her. She is my everything, and she's the cutest thing in the whole wide world. All of my Iranian dishes, all of the food that I've made is literally because of this one, because growing up, I used to watch her cook in the kitchen, and it used to be one of my favorite things to do. So I'm so excited to have her here with us. And mom, why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> سلام از عزیزانم حالی که ازم هستم مامان ترانه امروز ازم خواهش کرده که بیایم فسنجون درست کنیم که من با تمام وجودم اومدم که برای عزیزانمون فسنجون درست کنیم انشالله که درست میکنه نوش جونتون میشه اوکی سو I'm translating for her. She knows how to speak English, but she's trying to talk to all her Persian friends out there. <laughs> so she pretty much is just saying hello, and, and she's so happy to be here, and she's really excited to show us how to make this incredible dish. So mom, let's get into it. Let's show them how to make this, yes? Okay. So what we have here, mom, we have 10 cups of walnuts. Now mind you, we are going to be making this dish for about eight to 10 people. So if you are trying to make it for four people, just cut this recipe in half. But in this instance, because we're, you know, we're gonna have a little bit of a dinner party tonight, we gotta make a big batch. So we're going to be using 10 cups of walnuts. First, we put the onion. No, we're not gonna put the onion right now. Well, because this is a step, we're gonna... Okay, <laughs> okay. No, mom. <laughs> we're gonna put the walnuts into the food processor and we're going to finely chop these walnuts, okay? Let me help you, mom. Okay, my mom has really finely chopped everything. It's like totally minced up, and that's how you want it. You want it to look like like uh, breadcrumbs, okay? So let's put the next one. Sorry, mom. I'm taking over. <laughs> good job. I'm telling her good job. Like, I learned everything from her. All right, guys, so we have all of our um, walnuts all finely chopped. And guess what we can do now, Mom? Okay, onion. We can do the onion. Onion. <laughs> all right, let's go to the stove. Let us show you how to put everything together. <laughs> all right, guys, so we're here at the stove. So what she's had here is that she's heated up about three to four tablespoons of avocado oil. You can use avocado oil or olive oil. I like avocado oil because it has a more higher smoke point. So we are using avocado oil. We've also chopped up two large onions and we added it to our pot. Just put it a little bit for I love how she said a little bit. I already added a bunch, but she's adding more. So add a lot of oil, okay? Not a lot, less. We're gonna put this up to a high heat and we're going to pretty much brown these onions, okay? Yes. You wanna get it to a, a, a translucent place. All right guys, see how it's nice and golden brown? This is what we're looking for and this is when we add in, uh, start adding in the chicken. Okay mom, so what are you gonna do next? Okay, put it in. All right, we're gonna add the chicken. So what we have here, is about five pounds of chicken thighs, boneless and skinless. And we've chopped these up in uh, cubes. 
so smaller bite-sized pieces. And we're just going to add that to our onions. All right guys, so we have our chicken in here. We're browning our chicken. And um, just FYI, you don't have to use chicken thighs if you don't like chicken thighs. You can also use chicken breast and also cut it in little cube size, uh, bite size pieces. Or mom, do you get chicken between you just cutting bed? Chicken leg, chicken breast. Chicken legs, chicken breast. Anything you want. What about meat? Can How about red? red meat? Yeah, you could use stew meat. Anything. anything you want. Anything. You can use lamb. I make you lamb. So what we're, what she's adding in now is about a tablespoon of turmeric. We're gonna add some salt. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just like this. Hey, no, 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 no. Mom, you're gonna put turmeric in my salt. <laughs> the pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. She put turmeric all over my salt and she says it's good. A little bit more? No. You want more salt? No. You see that beautiful yellow golden color? The turmeric just makes everything so beautiful. Okay, so now I have about four cups of water. We're just going to add enough water to cover everything to the top and maybe about one or two inches above your uh, chicken mix. <laughs> I think we should add a little bit more water. What about no, cinnamon? No, 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 no. A cinnamon, little bit of cinnamon. No, cinnamon. Well, first... you can have cinnamon. No, no, I said to God, it's not good. It's not good. We need a little bit of cinnamon. It's not good. Tiny so, bit. No, 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 no. I said to God, it's not good. Cinnamon is no, good. No, 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 it's not good. Boy. I'm going to add it in later. <laughs> All right, so now we need to just let that boil. The thing with Persian food is that there's, it's really actually really easy recipes, but it just takes time. It's like an all day kind of thing, you know? Like you wanna spend, you know, the afternoon cooking with your loved ones. Okay guys, so it's been about 25 minutes and now what we're going to do is just remove the lid here. Look at that, it's all been boiling. We're gonna add the walnuts. We're just going to mix everything thoroughly in there. All right, so as she's adding in the pomegranate molasses, um, we like to use the Sadaf pomegranate molasses. It's my favorite one. Um, and we're using two bottles of it. And this is um, a 10 ounce uh, bottle. So get two of these if you're making it for a large group. But again, if you have a smaller amount of people that you're cooking for, then you wanna just use one bottle. Um, just again, half the recipe. All right, guys. So we have our pomegranate molasses all stirred in there. It looks beautiful. It smells beautiful. It smells beautiful, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So um, now we're going to add in a cup and a half of sugar. I have regular white sugar here. All right, guys. So with the sugar, that, that um, sugar is actually optional. So if you don't want to have the sugar, you don't have to add it in there. But I love it's sweet. I do too. I love sweet. Yes. <laughs> I love sweet. And so, and again, it's, you know, just it's just a comforting stew. We have to wait for 45 minutes until this, you know, we're gonna bring it back to up to a boil, okay? And then we're gonna take it down to a simmer and we're gonna let that boil for about 45 minutes. So we'll be back. <laughs>
so that's it. Our fest in June is done. Our white rice is done. Please make sure to check out my uh, video on how to make Persian rice. I'll make sure to put that link below. And that's it, mom. Good job. Yes. High five. Yes. We did it. Yes. Our first YouTube video together. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to have you on here more often. Yes. Are you sure. excited? Yes, sure. Um, and guys, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and leave comments below. I would love to know what you guys want to watch next. And I just love hearing from you guys. So please make sure to give me comments, subscribe, put on the notifications, do what you got to do. Me too. Yeah, and for her too. Yeah. <laughs> we want to Yeah, don't forget. We want to make sure we bring out more of these videos. So we love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. We gave a lot of love into it, and I'm so happy you were here with us today, Mom. I love you very, very much. I love you. Thank you. We love you guys. You. Have a great dinner. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. See you. Bye. Bye-bye.